question is why? Why would anybody want to vandalize the statue of a Seattle sports hero like Ken Griffey Jr.? If you haven't seen what happened, I mean, this is it. Somebody took the bat and just ripped it right off. Well, Lou Sella, the man behind this masterpiece, was in town again today. He was at UW for the Don James statue dedication. He designed that one as well. And while he was there, we asked him about Griffey. There's an emotional connection to these sports heroes in this town. And it's really a shame that something like that had to happen. So if you haven't seen the video yet, it is remarkable. It was just released the other day. This was 10 days ago, October 17th on a Tuesday, 5 p.m. A guy walks right up to the statue and basically grabs the bat, bends it back and forth till it snaps off. And then he just casually walks away. Well, as you can see there in the video, a lot of cars were around and the 911 calls just flooded in. Seattle police raced down here. They found him right away. They arrested him. They got the bat back and they returned that back to the Mariners. So now the question becomes, what do you do with the statue? Do you try to protect it so nobody does this again? Sella says that would be a shame. I understand doing this, that any public art is subject to vandalism. That's a chance you take. Nobody wants to put a fence around a sculpture. You want people to be able to touch it. You want them to have that kind of interaction with it. And if you haven't been down here uh, to see us firsthand, it is really a remarkable statue. We're blessed to be able to look at it across the studio, or across the street from our studios uh, every day. So what do you do to repair something like this? Uh, we don't know exactly, but he has been working with the Mariners. They do have a plan in place, but they have not figured out exactly, or they haven't told us exactly what it is, so we don't know when that's going to happen. We'll keep you posted as we learn more. Uh, live in Seattle, Greg Copeland, King 5 News.